Her big toe, I, I do like to, you know. But hers aren't as stubborn, because she's, you know, younger, only in her mid-30s. Like, if I'm working on, say, Fab, Fab's toes, they're a bit heavier, I'd have to, you know, I think it'll be, it'll be harder work. Um, so, you know, but right now we've got an hour before lunch. So, that's what we'll do. And, you know, as I say, it's, it's either, I could start with either one. Do you have a preference? No. Okay. So, what I like to do, especially if the toes are a little bit cold, is before I get in with a chopstick, just kind of warm them up, get a bit of blood flow happening, all right? And just sort of work the area a bit. As I say, you can easily see that band, one of the major bands that I'm gonna wanna work on. Um, so my goal, before I move anywhere up there, I wanna see these reduce and be soft. Um, but my first objective is to loosen up in here, then in here, and then in here. So let's just, I just warm the area up, get a bit of blood flow happening. Um, so it's a lot, it'll feel a lot nicer to have a chopstick in a, a foot when, it's, when there's blood flow and it's warm. <coughs> and she's tight like at the back here as well. So that big toe sacrum band. Okay. So always with a chopstick, um, you, you, you need to realize how powerful it is. And so you're gonna go in in a very sensitive manner. Right. And you can converse, you know, how's that? It's okay? I'm going a little bit deeper. So that's about the level of depth that I wanna work at, as long as she's happy with that. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do first of all is just hold that chopstick in there and I'm sort of pro almost like projecting a bit of energy in there to loosen it up. So it's like my sheer intention is kind of going into the chopstick in an amplified manner, like a laser. And then I'm projecting out into that spot, letting her breathe into it. And ever so slight movements. And then very, so I'm breaking up the congestion. It is definitely the best way to look at it. It's as, as like a, a kind of laser. Can you feel that when I'm working in there? And, and I'm just giving her a little rest from the chopstick and using my thumb again. And I can feel she's very tight on the side of her toe on this side as well. Right, all this. So there's a band. Mm -hmm. In fact, on her, you can see the band. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't see that on most people. Mm -hmm. But that's coming in through here, through here, through here. So this point here helps with this band, it helps with this band here, and it helps with this band here, right? So, but again, you know, I don't wanna keep her at a high level of intensity. Like I like to give her a little bit of variety. So break it up with a bit of thumb work, all different bands. Again, just seeing what's gonna come away with my thumb. Paying attention to any um, like movements that she has where I can feel like I'm at her threshold and, and easing off of that slightly. Okay. Again, just even maybe giving the other toes a little bit of a... Mm. Now I'm also going to give this area a bit of a warm-up and a bit of awareness. Again, coming in... Don't come in like this. Okay. That's horrible, right? You come in slow and you gauge it because this is so intense and you'll, if you have it done to you and somebody goes too hard, you'll know how bad this is. So we come in slow and then we can gauge, we can sense, how's, and we can even ask, how's that pressure? Yeah. If 10 is, it, is your, where you're gonna tighten up against me, how would that be? That's what I'm hoping for. So that's what intuitively I was wanting about a seven to an eight. Okay, because it's, I don't, and then I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna pull the toe slightly, not too much pressure on the nail, really open that up. And I can see, obviously, with her, you know, making that noise, then there we're at a higher, and then I'm coming in at a slightly different angle, and then start to move it ever so slightly. So again, think of this as like a laser beam energy going into that tightness, and you'll understand it way better. What's that? Feels like a laser beam. Feels like a laser beam. Yeah. 
So it's it's not just a physical thing. It's a it's an amplification of a like me projecting a laser beam of energy into here. And here I'm going to go a little bit deeper. Just you know these slight look at the slight and subtleness of the movements, but that's amplified enormously for her, right? And that's why I say this is a very powerful tool. So that's that slight movement, right? It's like, ah, you know, so this is how close we're working to her threshold. And again, I'm changing the angle slightly. <coughs> so incredible awareness has to be uh, used when you're using a chopstick, okay? Don't be uh, off with the fairies, off outside. You know, you have to be very present. Right, and notice now as I come down from that point, I'm ever so slightly, sometimes I'm holding and I'm projecting that energy like a laser beam into there and then I'm moving it slightly. And again, I'm working pretty close to her threshold. And here again, you can see, this is the roots of this tendon that I'm getting into, right? You can see her tendons very, very clearly. Again, I'm pulling that toe, and I'm going to come in for another round, but more gentle because I know how intense it is. And that slight movement of letting her toe go back even gets in a bit deeper and then moving it. And you can see just these subtle movements are intense. And then coming in here. All right, easing off slightly because, you know, we can see we're near her threshold. I'm just letting that hole... So you can see those, those movements that she's making are not even when I'm on there, right? That's, that's because we're getting rid of the energetic anchor points for the underlying create tension. How are you sensing the pain from her though? Because you're not looking up at her face and her movements. So are you feeling that through the toe, the re reactions in the toe itself? Yeah, I'm hearing her. Yeah, okay. And I'm, you know, you can sense when somebody's sort of slightly tightening up against you, and I'm, and I'm, yeah, and I'm... I was wondering whether you were getting that out of your second hand that's there supporting the toe, or... No, or mostly or listening, and, um, and feeling her. Yeah. I'm wanting to work under where she's tightening up against me, yeah. right? Yeah. But I'm also, because I'm warming her up, you know, I, I don't want her to, I don't want to be pushing her right near her threshold no. too much, right? Even though, you know, I may be working near her threshold, um, but I'm, I'm still at that <coughs> early stage. So again, I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm giving her a little rest, you know, from different areas and I'm working the ends of several different bands. So when I'm doing the big toe, I'm gonna do this one, gonna do this one, gonna do this one. And I've already worked that end point, very, very powerful point, right? So intuitively for me, I just wanna come down this way for now. Again, it may not even necessarily be the one she needs the most, it may be. Um, Sometimes I want to work at something that may be not too intense for her. But I know how tight she is back here. And I know I felt her back yesterday and it was super tight. So it doesn't matter. You can go one way or another way. But I just wanted to work in there at her level. So I want to work in a rhythmical way. And rhythmical and predictable, especially when somebody's this tight. Because I don't want her, you know, I don't want to lose that trust where she's got to trust that he's not going <coughs> to overwork me. He's not going to, you know, and I built that up through, through the face massage and breathing, right? So slow, predictable movements, not some like, oh, he's going to jab me so hard and I'm going to jump. Mm. Because if somebody has that in their mind, they're going to tighten up against you, okay? So that's why I'm trying to go slow. I'm responding to her, all right? And that way we're gonna build up some trust between us where I can get into some of this very deep-seated tension. This is tension that she's had for a while. So I'm coming in very close to the point I was working in initially. And I wanna see how she's going on the, coming down this side. It feels very tight to me. So my, my expectation is that if it's tight, it's probably also painful. And she's confirmed that, right? And so I'm holding, I'm just holding projecting the energy like a laser beam into that point and letting her breathe into it. And you can see her hands are now starting to, she's flicking her hands uh, and have a, have a quick look up there. So energy's moving, she's got like, it's you know? <laughs> yeah. So it's coming from down here, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. 
if that's from a few points. <laughs> All right, and so I'm just holding that point. So patience, perseverance. Now I'm changing the angle. And this is, again, the angle's pushing the energy that's trapped here this way. But I'm respecting where her boundaries are. Now I'm holding and projecting and letting her breathe. Easing off slightly. I always want to make sure she's able to breathe and process what I'm stirring up there. Holding, watching, or sensing. What I call the micro and the macro, right? Micro, mm -hmm. I'm busy down here. Mm -hmm. Don't be all micro. Be aware yeah. of the micro, be aware of the macro. What you're doing down here can have profound effects up there. Mm -hmm. Be aware of that. <coughs> because we're releasing tension, which, you know, we could say we're releasing energy that's causing tension. Mm -hmm. Again, English words are limited with what we call it, but that's what we're doing. So we want to make sure that's coming out nicely. <sighs> with a nice deep breath, and it's not coming out too intensely where she's like freaking out mm -hmm. or whatever. I've moved one spot now. So this is why I was saying to you guys, like I spend 70% of my time on the very end of the band. Okay, so the, I'm, and at this one I'm working several bands. So I would just want to come into this spot now. And I want to turn her toe because it's very jammed up in here. And of course that's, you know, I'm getting in pretty intense. So I'll just ease her off a bit and come into here. And then just let her breathe into that. And then slightly move the toe and then some energy's coming out through the stick, so I flick that off. It's my pinkies. What's that? It's my pinkies. Yeah, your hands? Just my pinkies. Pinkies, yeah. Okay, and now I can kind of come in and join these dots a little bit. Ah, sorry. No, that's okay. You just breathe and I'll work with your threshold. Because there's a lot of intensity going on between here and here. And obviously, we've got to ease her into that. And I'll come back into the point there that's very intense for her. And then I'm just going to, again, see if I can get a little bit more in depth there. A lot of stuff coming in through here. Mm. And again, let her just have a breath. Maybe I'll, you know, just do a bit of stuff to, you know, give her some. Oh, there you go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wasn't going before. That no, was a deep click. Was... Yeah, yeah. So again, that's that's Very great. Good. Very good. So we're starting to get it warmed up. We're getting some movement, but I'm giving that area a rest because I know how intense that is on that inside mm -hmm. when it's tight. So I'm coming to the other band now, and giving her a rest from the chopstick. So the chopstick I was working with down here, but now I'm just trying to cross over with that, that tendon with my thumb, okay? Again, it gives her just a rest from the intensity of an area. Um, I can even then start to come into here just a little bit in between here. This is a really powerful point for this joint of the, and again, I'm, I'm hitting her threshold, so I wanna ease off a little bit, slow down, let her deep breathe. I never want her to, again, go into that you know, feeling of, of tightening up against me, not too much, even though it might happen, I'm like, okay. Mm. But then I would slow down, maybe ease off a bit. And again, I'm just seeing how that joint's moving now. Okay, so I'm taking it to its full stretch and then coming back while holding this point. It's a very intense move and so much energy can be held in the big toe, which is why, you know, it's, it's coming up. And again, I want to, now I want to come back into this area that was so charged but I'm doing it with my thumb to give her a rest from the chopstick. So it's a more broad, almost nurturing move compared to a chopstick, mm -hmm. you know? Chopstick's like a fine, precise tool. It's almost like a surgical tool, but energetically, yes. like a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like fire going in there and burning up the tension and you know, it's powerful. Whereas my thumb's a bit more like, it's still a bit pain, but it's a lot more nurturing, right? Mm -hmm. Not to say that fire isn't nurturing, but it's, it's more about transformative. So gently now what I'm doing is, and, and I say gently, is I'm actually, because she's got enough little sweat and, and stuff that I can move across the skin. So I'm joining this and getting rid of all of this here. But, you know, again, easing off a little bit because it's so intense for her. 
Now I'm gonna come into here. So I'm coming down that band. And then I'm gonna hold that spot, and then I'm gonna move the toe. And I'm gonna monitor, because I, you know, where I feel it's right on her edge, okay? So it's more like nine, so I'm getting up to. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back in, my thumb. So a lot of it is about the pace of the treatment, right? So. You know, you can't force it. As I say, I, I, I slow down what I'm doing in order to work with her release mechanism. So that's really important. Now we're just gonna start to open that toe up a bit. Then I can come in even with my thumb or I can come back in with the chopstick and come down just slightly lower on that band now. And again, holding it, projecting like that fire energy into that point. And then slightly moving it even slightly. Oh, I'm like, should I slide it? Yeah, let's do it. I feel like she's, you know, opened up there, giving me a bit of permission to get in there. And then I'm gonna go into that and move it like that. So the band's becoming now definitely, you can, it's a band now you can actually, you know, even physically feel, not just an energetic thing. And then I'm coming in there and then again, crossing over it and monitoring her reactions. And you can see I'm, I'm, I'm working near her threshold, right? But I don't want it to go over. Is that a lot of nines for you and stuff? Nines and... Is that a good thing that I don't really flinch? No, no, flinching is kind of energy movements and stuff. Don't worry about it. That's why I'm saying we were talking earlier about why I don't like to use oil and, and draping yes. and everything because people are going to be flinching and squirming and jumping. Already I'm feeling this this side of the toe starting to let go. And she's, like it wants to pop. What's that? It feels like it wants to pop. Yeah, it will in just a second. So <laughs> then I'm just coming in here and again caressing it with my thumb. A bit more, you know. So I'm giving her a break from the chopstick and I'm twisting it and hold, using my thumb to get into that joint. So as I say, to me these are the most important areas, right? Mm -hmm. On on any toe or finger. You get them, the rest of it's gonna be so easy because these are the anchor points for the rest of the band. Mm -hmm. So easy. But these are not easy. These are, require high skill. Okay. And a lot of that skill is that, first of all, the tuning in to the person, second of all, understanding the energetic use. This is not just some physical poking mm -hmm. thing. This is like it's a like laser a beam, beam, right? And about going in and, and, and respecting that <laughs> letting her breathe letting her whatever comes in whether it be giggles cries laughter that's what i call the dramatics of the treatment or the dramatics of the release that the treatment is you know we're not so concerned with that we just get her to keep breathing keep crying keep, keep screaming whatever it is as long as it's coming out it's the trapped <laughs> energy that causes the tension and now we got a little click out of there and i'm starting to move it you can see she's enjoying that. <laughs> now I'm thinking, let's get this other side, right? We've let this other side kind of go without too much work, and which is the big toe belly band, right? <coughs> but just that alone, working on the origin of some of the delta band and some of this, more of the delta band on the side has already got stuff moving, right? <coughs> mm -hmm. But before I do that, I'm just going to again feel here already. It's feeling a bit better, but not. it's not... Um, up to how I'm happy. So I'll do this one. I keep changing my mind, but that's okay. That's, that's fine. Keep him, I'm going to come this way. Hold that again and just let her breathe into it. And change my angle slightly. It's like, gets another point. It's like, that's like I say, early stage acupuncture was done by rocks. And then I'm going to come through here, going a bit deeper this time, and see how we go. And again, you can see she's handling it. Yeah, so people can get tetany, all the energy's moving from her feet up to it, you know, her hands are going like so much energy moving. What does it feel like, Chelsea, in the hands? Like, is it all hands fingers? Really you said you four little fingers. Yeah, right through the arms. And they're sweaty. <laughs> yeah. So, and again, coming right into the back of the 
um, this, this part of the toe, you know, where it, it's easy to feel the tension and I can hold that point and just move the toe into, or I can cross over.